anyone from the transgender community, um, I would say you should definitely come. For one, I think that uh, there, there are a lot of people who have never met a transgender person, not just Republicans, but I've met plenty of Democrats who have never met a transgender person, which makes sense. We're only 1% of the population. Um, and a lot of us tend to be really shy, especially when talking about being transgender in the first place. You know, it's hard to tell someone that, um, especially if you're able to not and get away with it. Um, but I think it's important that you know people talk in, talk to each other, and you know, I think a lot of Republicans, even if they still left feeling that. I shouldn't have the same rights to housing or any protections for uh, any sort of thing, any particular policy that re retains specifically to transgender people. Um, I think that they left more accepting of me as a person. And for the record, I didn't feel anyone was intentionally um, discriminatory to me. Uh, you may, if you are transgender, you may get misgendered, you may get misnamed or something, uh, and you know you can correct these people. I corrected a couple of Republicans, um, a couple of people, just in general, uh, a couple times, and they were really accepting. And they, none of them were like, "I'm not going to call you that because it's against my religion or my beliefs." People are very respectful because they come here, and their intention is to be respectful and listen to the other side, and so. I think that's partially where it comes from.